How much adventure can you pack into three days? This October, Jay's parents and brother joined us to find out on a trip we're calling the Ice Loop. In this fourth and bonus episode, Mel and I leave the caravan and stop for a little mini-adventure on our way back home. Okay, so we have all gone our separate ways. The parents are on the way back to Ontario. The brother is to hanging out a little longer in Banff. And we have one more stop for you. We're going to the Radium Hot Springs. Mel has wanted to go to these hot springs for I don't know how long now, but we just weren't in the right area and then they were closed for COVID. So we're finally getting there. On our way there, we took the Bow Valley Parkway, a slightly slower route known for wildlife sightings. We then got onto the very picturesque Highway 93 and soon found ourselves back in British Columbia. Before we knew it, we were heading down the steep canyons leading into the village of Radium Hot Springs. We came down a steep hill and got a first look at our campground, nestled in a beautiful valley. We called ahead to the hot springs to ask about the wait time. Hearing there was none, we grabbed our swimsuits and headed up to the springs. Where are we? Radium Hot Springs! Do you see any springs yet? Not yet. Oh, I see water. In the summer months, they have a cool pool. But it's not very busy right now. So how's the air temperature? It's so cold. <laughs> they make you shower before you get in. <laughs> <laughs> that cold air, it's chilly. Let's go to the deep end. Is this our deep end? I don't know. It's like just the right temperature. It's like a nice warm bath. Oh yeah. Did you see this deep? What was yeah. the temperature again? 39? 39. I didn't find the shower that warm. It was a little bit of a shock from the shower to the hallway. Your glasses are so steamed up. I know, I can't see. You enjoying it? <laughs> oh, you brought your phone? Yeah. Oh, man. Seems to be okay. It's a good thing the GoPro is waterproof. I got it wet already, <laughs> despite my efforts. So we're gonna do a little hot cold therapy here. Instead of Jay jumping into a cold lake, he's gonna jump up into the cold air. He's gonna pop over these stairs here to see if he can see where the hot spring comes in. Yeah, because we can hear water falling over there, but we can't really see, so. Yeah, so you're gonna go with him. We're I'm gonna... staying in the pool. <laughs> Did you see it? Yes. Did you see it? I saw where it came in. Oh, cool. It was worth being exposed to the cold for a little bit for that. Now we know where our water is coming from. It is now hailing as we're in the pool. There we go. <laughs> I just got pelted in the face with a hail bit. You can see it bouncing off the off rocks, rocks there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Did you see the big one? Oh, it just hit me in the eye. So you just have to stay down really low to limit the number of parts of your body that are going to get hit by hail. Oh, you got some hail? I think we would have preferred nice, like, <laughs> fluffy snow as opposed to hail, but, you know. Take what you can get in the mountains. It's an experience. <laughs> has slightly changed. But we're still nice and warm. Well, there's one piece in your hair. Yeah. All right, it's hailing and we're getting pelted and now we're getting out and it's gonna be really, really cold. The middle one looks like there's a heater. <laughs> Well, that was a lovely experience despite the hail. 
It's still uh, just kind of spitting a little bit out here. But uh, I said it would be really cool, I think, to come here in the middle of winter with a very nice fluffy snow coming oh, yeah. down and being in there. Yeah. Because, you know, even with the hail and rain, as long as you kept most of your body underwater, it was still pretty nice. Oh yeah, you were toasty warm and just, it was perfect. Yeah, so this is a definite must stop yeah. if you're ever coming through Radium. We're all packed up on a very crisp morning in Radium and ready to head home. Got a seven and a half hour to eight hour drive. And then, yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap up the ice loop. Man, it was such a fun trip. It was a whirlwind tour. We got a taste of all the different places. Now we know for sure that we want to go back maybe next summer, maybe next fall. We don't know yet. So stay tuned. We left our cozy campsite and got on the highway. It wasn't long before Mel got to experience some mountain winter driving conditions. Thankfully, it wasn't quite as bad as the storm we hit last year, but it's a good reminder that anytime you drive in the mountains in the fall, you should be prepared for snow. Okay, so we've all... Ah, oh, frick. It's like right when the trees get in my way. Join us next time, not long after we arrive home, where my brother and I climb to the 4,000-foot-tall summit of Hope Mountain. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.